It's been a while since I've published a package on NPM and every time I forget how to set things up properly. Personally, I think the secret to happiness in open source is not publishing packages. Instead, let other people take on the usually unpaid stress and burden of actually owning a package and instead just contribute to their projects. But someone has to do it if we're all going to benefit from it and if you're going to do it, at least NX makes it easy. And it even supports compiling to both CommonJS and ESM out of the box. All you need to do is create a new NX workspace with the following command. I won't be using any of the framework presets for my package, but of course you could go ahead and use any of these if they make sense for you. We will choose the package based option. You can also use one of the CI presets if you want, but I'm going to skip that. Then we can create our package with this command. I'm creating a basic TypeScript package, but again, you could use some other NX library generator like Angular or React if that's what you are building. You can add a testing framework if you like. I'm selecting vtest and you can also choose the bundler you would like to use for building. Again, you can choose what you like here, but we are going to look at the rollup option as it compiles to both CommonJS and ESM out of the box. After the package is generated, we can see it here. And of course we can then add our own code within the package. If you need to install dependencies for your package, make sure to do that within the package itself by first navigating to the package and then installing whatever packages you need. If I just run the build command now, we can see in the built output that we have both ESM and CJS files being created, which is great. In my particular case though, I can only support ESM and I can easily configure this by going to the rollup config file and just removing CJS from the format array. If I build again now, you can see we only get the ESM files. Before we publish, we will also want to fill in some details in the package.json file. Remember to do this in your source package.json file for the package, not the one in the dist folder. If you are publishing a public package, make sure that you remove the private property as well. We might also want to update the readme file with some details about our project. We can then build the project again, and now it's time to publish. If you've never published to npm before, you will need to create an account first and then run the npm login command. Make sure you navigate to the built output of the package in the dist folder. Then again, assuming you are publishing a public package, you can run the following command to publish. You will only need to supply the public access flag the first time you publish. On subsequent publishes, you can just run npm publish. Remember when you publish an update, you will also need to bump the version number in your package.json file before you run the build command for the package. I'll have another video up soon on testing this package with vtest, so feel free to subscribe if you want to stick around for that. If you found this video helpful, a like before you go will be very much appreciated, and I hope to see you back here for the next video.